Hello and welcome to Deliberately Creative. I'm Stephanie and I want to welcome you to Acrylic April Day 24. Oh my gosh, there's only a few days left. I am really excited. This day we're doing a water lily and I have put chalk on the back of this because I am feeling a little bit lazy today. And I'm just going to trace this on. I can draw it, but sometimes you just want to paint and you don't want to worry about things. So what I did is I put chalk on the back. I'm doing some extra petals, drawing them on out here. Let's see. So we're going up and around. All right. So there we go. We have the water lily traced on there. It's roughly traced on. I'm not worried about it being perfect. I have my reference right here and I am going to be painting this in. I'm using the Artist Loft Level 3 paints again today. This background was painted with leftovers from my uh, color chart and so I have this lovely kind of blue background. And I am going to go ahead and get a little bit of light blue worked in around behind the flower. We need the lightness behind the flower to be able to show that there's the, the pink of the flower. So I'm grabbing just a little bit of that Prussian blue. Oh, I have a yellow azo light, titanium white, canacridone magenta, Prussian blue, and the cadmium red medium. So I'm going to go ahead and sort of work in here a little bit, a few spots of color. This is basically just white with a little bit of other stuff, but not much. It really just looks white. And I'm going to grab a bit more of the blue make this more gray. I'm not worried about making it perfect. Maybe a little bit of dark gray. And that would be the cadmium red with the Prussian blue and a little bit of white. Oh, look at that. Petals. Let's see. Maybe we'll do it with pink. We'll do it with the pink. So that's quinacridone magenta and the titanium white with just a touch of that yellow azo light. Sort of warm that pink up just a little bit. Well, that's pretty. Now we're going to go Cut that flower in, that petal. We're gonna work our work our petals, I guess is how I wanna do it. There, there's a petal back here. These are the lighter lighter tips of the petals on the outside edge of the flower where they're catching more light. that like that I'm just using the big brush right now to get this all in
Remember, I, yes, I used the um, photo image as my uh, traceable, but I'm not really sticking to it. And I know how to draw the flower in and how the petals are overlapping. So by knowing those things, I can work with it create my flower, edit the flower if I need to, there we go, we're going to let that dark in the background, that dark blue help us. Need to make a little bit more of that pink or peachy pink. I'm just working my way around, just working my way around the, the whole flower. Right now I'm just getting flat color in and I'm not too worried about getting the, the actual, um, the actual positioning of the shadows. I'm kind of leaving a little bit of that blue to help inform me for later. I am going to grab a smaller brush to get in here and get more details. See, there's another petal right there. It's going to come kind of in front. There's that petal down here, and another one kind of that way. Now I'm going to go ahead and work in towards the center. With the dry brush. But I just don't want to lose the individual petals. Look at that though. That is looking cool. Now we are seeing a little bit of that striping from the under, um, the underground, the uh, background of this. But as we work our layers, we are going to lose those stripes. So now I am going to go ahead and actually what I should be doing is going and getting some darker color, but I have lighter color on my brush right now. So, cause that's what I just mixed up. And instead of wasting the color, I can go ahead and use it. There's those spaces out here that are much brighter. This tip of this petal right here and the top edge of that one and the edge of these petals down here. So that edge and this edge a little bit going that way and then there's a bit of this edge right here. I'm getting these petals laid in. We're probably, like I said, going to lose some of the, some of the petals and that's okay. We don't have to keep them all. As long as the flower holds together, we're good. I'm going to grab just a little bit more of the quinacridone, start getting a little bit darker, maybe even a touch of the cadmium red so we can get this petal and that petal. See I left I left a little room and I may have just added another petal 
That's okay. We're doing this loosely. And I just want to get the petals laid in so I can start working out more of that dark and light. Maybe even, ooh, I think we're going to get some of that dark working in now. So we've got that one. We've got that one. A little bit of that dark coming up. There, here, inside of that petal, inside of this petal, this one is underneath of everything, so it needs to be really dark down in there. Soften that up, I'm going to grab a bit more white, so I can soften into that petal there. Oh, wow. Yeah. Now this one has a bit of white along this edge. Brings it forward. This one has a bit more white out on the tip. This one is a darker, darker petal. I need to get these petals in the back over here put in so we can get that orange put on. I'm just working my way around. Get some of that dark in there so then we can put some light in one more time. See, we're just working these petals in and around. All right, so before I get too far into fiddling, I want to just smooth out a little bit in the back just a little bit that. I've got the number four cat's tongue now. Because I just want to, I just want to make sure that I've got coverage on some of those. There. A little bit there. I'm still trying to stay loose. Not trying to to really get in and get total details, but I do want the edge of the flowers to be solid. <laughs> Just that. Let's see, a little more magenta. Oh, there we go. That one actually comes all the way up like this. And this one gets a pink white edge right along here. And then the underside of that petal gets darker. Then this petal right here is actually very dark. I think we're going to cool that down just a little bit, but I want that other color in it. Oh, look at that. And then I want that in the middle of this petal. There we go. 
and a little bit of that. Grab a little bit of the blue, make it even darker. Trying to not be too fussy, but getting fussy. So I need to just stop being quite so fussy with it. I see this petal right here and it just keeps driving me nuts because it's not quite the right shape and I'm not you know totally tied to things being the perfect shapes but this petal is kind of important because it's right in the front there ah oh, there that's better all right so now what I need to do I think I'm just going to Keep the color that's in my brush and just get into the, that yellow and a touch of the quinacre, the yeah, a touch of the cadmium red. Okay, so now we've got the dark yellowy bits. So we're going to go and get just. some touches of this. It's the dark color, the dark yellow. There's going to just be some little, little pops of the bright yellow, maybe mixed with a bit of white. There. See, we're using the shape of the brush to give us those indications. There we go. A little bit more of that darker right down in there. So now we've got the center of that flower in. Very little fuss or muss. As long as I stop playing, I just wanted a few more of those little yellow bits. Okay. And then just hit a couple, couple spots here and there doot, 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 for pieces that are pieces that are curling forward, way forward. Oh, look at that. Wow. I think we're almost done. There's just a couple spots that I want to, I want to lighten up. White and magenta. And then keep it loosely mixed. Let's see on here, it's, it's loosely mixed. We've got pink, we've got white. This little tip right here. Is a little extra bright. This little tip out here. The very tip on that one.
a little bit of the water coming over it. So that's the dark blue. Or the water actually pooling around underneath of it. There we go. See, then we can use that dark blue to clean up our edges. How's that? And then that one right there. This right here. little dark edge right back here just not really that dark we can lighten it because that dark edge just really stays back there Look at that. We're just going to work some of that dark in here. Take a little bit of the white and work a little bit of the white in. Maybe it's little highlights now. Maybe there's a bit of that white right around that edge of the flower. I want a little bit of definition. That's what it is, is I need a little bit of something else going on here with these petals because they're, they're feeling a little bit flat. So I'm going to just put some light. Take a little bit of this yellow. Oh, there we go. A little bit of yellow. Warm it up. A little bit of white and magenta. There's a little blue on my brush still. There we go. All right. That's making me feel better. So there's a few little spots of white here and there in the middle on the tops of some of these little stamens. They're actually water drops, but I'm not going to be fussy about that. There we go. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please click that like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends. Make sure that you go out and do something creative. Take care of yourself so you can take care of those around you. And I hope to see you back here again really soon. Bye-bye.